Hello everyone and welcome to my last Halloween special doll makeover video of 2023. I've made already three Halloween special dolls this year. I started with Lydia from Beetlejuice. She was of course very gothic, but she wasn't evil at all. The second doll was Maleficent. She was very beautiful and she's of course already much more evil character. Then last week I've made Tiffany, the bride of Chucky, and that lady was absolutely terrifying. Tiff was really scary. I was really scared of her myself. Myself. And today guys we are going to make finally the scariest doll in this series Today we are going to make a pure horror Because today we are making zombie Cinderella guys If you remember a couple of years ago I made like such a twisted Disney doll It was in collaboration with Hexton I have made uh, evil Ariel And he made a uh, nice and kind and good Ursula. So today I'm going to continue kind of this series of twisted Disney dolls. So today I'm going to make Cinderella who has become a zombie. How it happened? I don't know. My fantasy is that her fairy godmother was actually a witch godmother. Maybe it was, I don't know, Maleficent herself in disguise. Uh, who told Cinderella that yes, her carriage and her horses and her dress, it will all turn into pumpkin and into rats and into rags after the midnight. But the godmother forgot to mention that Cinderella herself will also turn into a zombie after midnight. So this is what we're going to capture today. This is my fantasy. So today I'm going to make Cinderella in that very moment, like a couple of minutes after midnight when her fairy tale completely fell apart and she turned simply into a zombie. So this makeover is going to be very scary. I don't make that many really monstrous, scary horror dolls here on my channel. So I think it's going to be very interesting today. Like always in the beginning of this video, I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll makeovers every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends on the size of a project. Yeah, and of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy it. So, and this being said, let's start working on our zombie Cinderella. It's gonna be very cool, I think. I've decided to use this Operetta Monster High doll for this project because I think she has such a beautiful face, but I just never use these dolls for my projects because of these tattoos or scars or I don't know, whatever it is on her face and body. But it's actually absolutely perfect for what I want to make today. These scars and tattoos and everything is perfect for my zombie Cinderella. So let's start with undressing her, then I will cut off her hair, disconnect the head from the body and after this I will remove her makeup with pure acetone.
after everything is gone, I'm prepping the surface with Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I'm going to create some sort of a patch on her face out of tissue paper that will cover all these tattoos on her face, as well as her ear, one eye, and also part of her head. In the end, it was supposed to look like some sort of rotten tissue or burnt tissue, you know, some zombie tissue. I'm letting it dry for a day and now I can repeat it all on her body. One of her hands is missing, but I think I will give her this hand with the cut of pinky. It will be absolutely perfect for a zombie doll. And then I will also cover all these tattoos with this tissue paper. So, I let it all dry for a couple of days, it took actually more than a day to dry, then I spray it all with the sealant again, and now I can start drawing. So, first of all, I need to change her skin tone from purple into something like zombie-like, and for this I'm going to cover her body first with yellow soft pastels, it will cancel the purple color, and then I will apply nude and dark grayish colors to give her very pale and kind of earthy skin tone.
I want her to have blue veins on her cheeks under her eye and then I will make her lips very wrinkly as well, very kind of old zombie lips. Okay, this is where I will stop working on her face for now and I want to blush her body first. And then I will color all these patches, both on her face and on her body with acrylic paint. Beautiful guys, it's absolutely beautiful. It looks absolutely terrifying and it makes me super happy because it's supposed to be a scary horror project So now let's probably work on her outfit and I have planned something very special this time If you remember guys a couple of years ago, I made a Cinderella doll I don't remember exactly why but I haven't sold that doll and I still have this beautiful silk dress that my mom made for her and it just cannot be better. 
So guys, now we are going to zombify this dress to feed our zombie Cinderella. It's gonna be absolutely cruel and brutal. You can see I've put this dress on the doll to be able to see better how it will all look on her. And I'm going to start with burning holes all over this dress. It should look like it's been through a lot, really. <laughs> like a real zombie dress. And you can see that this is a natural seal because it's not melting, but it's really burning. So it's a little bit risky business happening here. Amazing, it already looks absolutely amazing, so now let's add some dark brown acrylics to make it all look even more worn off. So guys, this is the finished dress and I don't know about you, but I think that this dress looks even better now than before. I don't know, I absolutely love it, I really love it now much more than when it was untouched and perfect, really very happy about it. It looks absolutely horrible, but it's also very sophisticated in some way, so really happy about the dress. 
So now I think it's time to work on her hair. I'm going to use this terrible looking yarn for it because I want her hair to look like, you know, like some zombie hair. I don't know how to describe it. So I think this yarn will be ideal. I will not even straighten the yarn today. I don't want it to look like some healthy and shiny hair. No, no, no. It should be something, I don't know, dirty looking fluff barely covering her head. This is approximately my fantasy. This is how I see her hair today. So I will first brush this yarn and then I will glue it on her head very, very, very sparsely. It looks terrible, absolutely terrible. Some hair from hell I've made. Very happy about it. So I want to finish it up with a blue bow because I think it will kind of amplify the horrific look of her face on the contrast of the bow and all this melted skin tissue. It's gonna be lovely, I think. So guys, now it's time to make something really big and special. I want to make a pumpkin that was turned into a carriage and now when the spell is over it became a pumpkin again. So I'm going to sculpt it out of Fimo air clay and I start with making a bowl out of tissue paper and kitchen plastic. Yeah, something like this will probably work. The size and the shape are really good. So now I will cover it all with clay, creating a simple half open ball. I want to make it in two steps. So first I will create a hard base, a simple ball, and then I will sculpt a more detailed pumpkin around it.
So it took 48 hours for the first layer to dry completely instead of 24 mentioned on the packaging, very promising already. But anyway, it looks good, it looks strong, so now it's time to sculpt the second layer around it to make it look like a real pumpkin. Okay guys, the disaster struck, <laughs> really, just after a couple of hours of drying my upper layer started to get covered with cracks and this is how it looks 24 hours later, really a disaster, just a complete disaster, some pieces are just loose. I don't even know why it happened, I think it's because of the shrinking of the material, the soft and wet upper layer was applied on top of the hard base and then when the soft layer started shrinking it started cracking because the hard layer underneath didn't shrink it stayed the same, it stayed big I don't know, or maybe I just put it too close to the heater to, to make it dry faster I don't know, we will never know guys but I must fix it somehow I don't have another 72 hours to sculpt and dry and then even to paint another pumpkin it must go live before Halloween it must go live this weekend so, I've got this product for fixing holes in walls, its drying time is 30 minutes, which is absolutely perfect for me. So, let's try, I have absolutely nothing to lose, let's try to fix it. And you know what guys, 
I think it worked, check it out. <laughs> I let it stay overnight, for sure for 12 hours, maybe even a little bit more. And there are no new cracks and everything looks very strong, feels strong, so let's sand it. Yeah, guys, you know, I think it's rescued. I handled it pretty rough while sanding really was pushing and turning and doing all kinds of things. And it still looks good. No new cracks, nothing fell off, nothing got broken. That's good. So I think I can start painting it with acrylics. Here is my finished pumpkin. I don't know guys, it caused me so much stress and it put the entire project in danger. Really, you cannot imagine how much I was stressing out here. And now I just cannot believe how good it looks. It's really shamelessly good pumpkin you look. It looks absolutely beautiful now. So, now I think we're finally ready to apply the lashes, gloss, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. I was thinking a little bit about attaching the false lashes, because she's kind of zombie lashes, but you know, as far as you have an eye, you can always apply your falsies, even if you're a zombie. So yes, I vote for false lashes for my zombie Cinderella. Well guys, this is my finished zombie Cinderella and I think she is the perfect doll to end my collection of Halloween special dolls this year. Like I said in the beginning, my Lydia doll had those goth vibes, but she wasn't evil at all. Maleficent was already a darker one, Tiffany the Chucky's Bride was absolutely terrifying and now Cinderella is like a cherry on top. She looks like she has come straight from some horror movies, really. Terrible, terrifying doll. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really proud of the project. Something a little bit different, a little bit scary. Absolutely love her. The pumpkin... Uh, I don't even know what to say about the pumpkin. I will never forget you, pumpkin, really. I will forever remember working on you. It was absolutely terrible. But it looks so good in the end. It makes me very happy. The dress looks better than before. I still think so. I really love uh, its new zombified look. And everything looks so good and so bad at the same time that it really makes me happy. So I think I've reached my initial goal with this project. It looks terrible and beautiful at the same time. And what do you think, guys? Do you like my scary zombie Cinderella or you are more into cute makeovers? Many people probably prefer cute dolls. So I'm really curious to hear what you think. I hope you will like her. So, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay, the link is in the description box under this video, so please check it out there. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon, normally in two weeks, in my new doll makeover. Love you guys, bye!